lawyers are ethically prohibited from collecting unreasonable and excessive fees from their clients. But what all goes into a court's determination that attorneys' fees are too high? The Oklahoma Supreme Court faced this question in the 1989 case of Robert L. Wheeler Incorporated v. Scott. Robert Scott needed someone to represent him in a foreclosure action filed against him by Oklahoma State Bank. Attorney Robert Wheeler agreed to take the case. Over the next several months of representation, Scott was billed over $54,000 for 524.5 hours of work, which he paid. Wheeler represented Scott for five more months after that. During those months, Scott was billed over $85,000 for 753.4 hours of work. Scott refused to pay that amount. Days before a scheduled hearing on summary judgment, Wheeler informed Scott that he was going to withdraw from the case unless Scott paid him. Still, Scott refused to pay. But instead of withdrawing, Wheeler sent a first-year associate to the hearing. The bank's summary judgment motion was granted, and Wheeler withdrew. Then Scott hired another lawyer who helped him reach a settlement. Later, Wheeler filed a separate action against Scott to collect the unpaid attorney's fees. Scott argued that the attorney's fees were excessive for several reasons. First, his case never even reached trial. Second, the first-year associate, whose lawyering experience was slim to none, did most of the work at an hourly rate of $110. Third, the bank paid just over $75,500 for 850 hours of work done by three seasoned attorneys. Fourth, the foreclosure was a very simple case. The trial court ultimately reduced the associate's hourly rate to $80 and the total fees to around $125,000. The appellate court affirmed, and Scott appealed to the Oklahoma Supreme Court.